Okay, hello and welcome to the Live at Five. That went smooth today. Uh, last week in the workshop, going live wasn't this smooth. So, welcome to the Live at Five. This is the Wednesday Live at Five. We do it every Wednesday. I jump on here and I give you more information how to do the Starve Kill Detox Pro that is the protocol that we use in this group where you'll find that everybody is healing there's so much information and it's so easy to get over all of this information coming at you you're like all right where do I start what do I do can I heal how did these people heal what's going on in here so let's sum up last week and we have about 40 something new people coming into the group this week so let's use this as the sum up of last week. So if you're new, last week we did a workshop. So on what a workshop is, is every couple of months I do a workshop where I go live every day at noon and I teach the entire Starve Kill Detox protocol and I also introduce you to the other coaches in the group. So Minding Your Soul is the name of the Facebook group. Path to Healing is the name of the group coaching program. Classes start on Monday. You can enroll on the website. In the Path to Healing program, we work with a number of coaches, myself, Catherine Rose, Matt Rowe. So we do, we address healing on every level in that group. We do the body, the mind, and the soul. I give you all the protocol information and we work together for four months and it really accelerates you through the process. So none of what you need to heal, you have to pay for. I believe the information that is taught in this group should be taught in schools. How do we heal our bodies? What is wrong with our bodies? So that's why all the information is always going to be free. If you want to do it with a group of people, if you want that accelerated body, mind, and soul experience, and you kind of like want to jump in and be like, all right, I'm done. That's it. I need to heal and I need to do it quickly. Put me in the group. That starts on Monday. Sign up soon. But if you don't, all the information is in the group. You're just, you know, you find it on your own. However, there is a YouTube channel, the Minding Your Soul YouTube channel, with all the Live at Fives so, and all the workshop videos too. So you can go in there and just scroll and find what you need. I would recommend starting with workshop day one because that's where we talk about, oh wait, people are jumping on. Sorry, I didn't even look over. Thank you, hello everyone, and thank you for saying hi as you jump on with Rhonda, Mary, Martha. Oh, I love that she calls me Sage. She calls me the village Sage, Martha. That will never get old, thank you. Suzanne, Keisha, Linda, Pat, hello. So this is how it works. So Quinn, happy to see you too. Happy to see you. The SKD protocol is the new thing that's spreading. I love that, right? So there's a lot of acronyms in this group. The SKD protocol, what the hell is that? Starve, kill, detox. I, I named it that because that's what it does. Most of the information that you're gonna find, we follow the medical medium. So when I first came across the medical medium, I had already begun healing myself years before he, he put out his first book. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't know what was working. So I just kind of like threw everything at myself and, and little by little I did heal. I had this innate feeling, this, something was telling me my body is not attacking itself. That can't be right. It's just something doesn't sit right with me. So I'm like, all right, let's use some logic here. What could be attacking? Why is my body attacking? Like something, like what is it? It's either going to be a bacteria, a virus, or a fungus. So I treated my body like it had all three. And every freaking book that I could get my hands on that was all about cleaning out the body and it's supporting the immune system, that's what I did. I got myself about 60% of the way. I was walking, I wasn't paralyzed anymore. I still had like the numbness in the, in the toes and in the fingers, like that would come and go, and then patches here and there, especially on my back. Um, and I was like, I don't care, at least I can walk. I don't care if I can feel my limbs. But I would still get dizzy and tired around three o'clock, and any time that I got sick or run down, I'd lose my legs. Literally, they would fall off. No, they would just, they would go numb. So I, that's why I say like 60% of the way. And then the medical medium came around, released his first book. And I was like, shit, he talks the way I do. My body is not attacking itself. And he gave, he gave a name to the virus that it was attacking, the Epstein-Barr virus. And he said, yeah, it's a sneaky little fucker and this is how you kill it. And he gave us this targeted attack on the virus. So then I started following what he was saying. And all this time though before the medical medium all this time I was working with Catherine the vibrational healer I was working on, on my mindset uh, NLP what Matt Rose doing I, I I knew there was so much shit going on in my life that I thought all right let me focus on that and let me focus on my body and then let me focus on this I was all over the place so 
I did that work and then I came across the medical medium and the medical medium is like, nope, it's a virus. Here you go. This is how you kill it. I consumed all the information that I could. And within about a year, I got myself to a hundred percent, a hundred percent healed. Can you imagine how that's going to feel the day that you can say that? And yes, you can, because I'm, I'm not special. I'm not special. There's nothing that I have that you don't have. In fact, you probably have a lot more. I, I, I say this because I remember thinking years ago, okay, well, that person probably has that because they have something special about them. There's nothing special over here. I, I had a shitty childhood. I had a lot of shitty relationships. I still don't have the greatest relationships, but I'm working on them. I, there was nothing. I didn't come from money. Um, I didn't come from highly intelligent, educated people. I came from good people. There's nothing special about me. All I did was have this, there's no way my body's attacking itself and I need to get healthy because I want to raise my kids and I want to do things with them and, and, and I want to play with them. And the thing that really shook me to the core is when I was on the medication, I was on beta serone for about a year, giving myself, that's what we had back then, the ABC drugs, Avonex, beta serone, and Copaxin. Those were my choices. So every other day I was giving myself a shot and I did that for a year until I ended up paralyzed. And the only reason why I went on the medication is because I had gotten an MRI and the doctor said, Janine, your immune system is attacking your brain. And it's in a place where it's right next to your optic nerve. And if it moves the tiniest bit, you're going to be blind. And then there's nothing I can do for you. So you need to get on the medication immediately. You need to get on the IV steroids. And of course, what are you doing in that situation? You go, okay, sign me up. Stick me with whatever you got to stick me with. You're scared out of your mind. And I'm reminded of this this week. Obviously, when I, when I talk to clients and members, I'm reminded of it. But I was really put in that. So this week, let me just, I don't know how to say it. So this week, um, Jackson's sick. Um, I thought he had pneumonia. I was fearing that he had pneumonia because my mother ha is actually in the hospital with pneumonia, which is why I've been quiet in the group after the workshop. After the workshop, she went in the hospital with pneumonia, which was after a surgery. So of course I had to go see her. So I go see her. I keep the mask on. And the next day, my one-year-old starts hacking a lung up. And I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? And here I am going, wait, I have all the information of to heal the body but I'm going I don't know if it's safe to do for a baby I don't know if I can do what I do for myself and give myself my tinctures every hour so that I don't get sick I, and I'm in this what do I do and thank God I found doctors who I took him to the doctor they listened to his chest they listened you know they looked at his ears no ear infection no clear chest no pneumonia and then she was like okay well we can give you antibiotics if we if you want to but he will heal on his own it's just a common cold I'm like no that's great thank you no antibiotics then I'm thinking, what if something more serious happened to him? Well, I don't know enough about babies. I don't know what they can take in because I haven't done the research. Like, I need to go to someone who says, yes, this is safe for them. This is how you heal a baby. And I'm in this zone of fear. Like, what the hell? I know I can heal myself. I know I can heal other people. But I don't know anything about babies. So, of course, you're going to be left to the devices of the doctors. And I go, that's, that's why follow me here this morning a new member posted where do I start and I thought oh my god I had that same feeling where do I start with learning how to what I can give Jackson my one-year-old how I can keep him healthy like I have to start somewhere I get it when you're given all of this information and you're in a place of fear I have to heal myself. Can I heal myself? Does this work for everybody? Maybe it just worked for Janine. Maybe, you know, these people on her, on her website, the testimonies, you know, maybe they're fake. I don't know. You're in a place of fear. You're getting thrown all the information at you and you're like, whoa, where do I start? I get that. So listen, I've made it very easy or I, I've made it the way I would think it was very easy. So if you have any suggestions, just please throw them my way. On day one of the workshop, and I'm gonna sum it up for you right now so you don't have to watch the whole hour workshop if you don't have time, I, that I get too. So day one of the workshop, watch that first because I think when you know what's going on with your body, the answers are going to come to you. Yes, I have it all right now. You know, day two, day three, day four, I'll tell you exactly what to do. You can join the group coaching program. I'll walk you through it the whole four months. But think about this. Your starting point is always going to be, why am I sick? Oh, hi, Malak. Malak is one of, the, um, one of my first uh, Path to Healing clients, and I can't wait to 
I've seen Malak because the last time I talked to her, she's like, yeah, I'm good. I healed four months and I'm good. Drop foot's gone. So Malak, I got to reach out to you. You'll be hearing from me soon because we got to do another, we got to do an interview. So <clears throat> you always want to start with why. Why do I have symptoms? Why am I sick? Now, if we go to the doctor and we ask those questions, what is he going to say? Well, we don't know. You know, MS doesn't have a cure. We don't know where your body's attacking itself, but it is. It's attacking itself. And that is complete and utter bullshit. Your body is not attacking itself. Now that we know this, the medical medium kind of broke through the medical industry with that information. And, and most of us, including myself, were like, all right, he sounds insane talking to the spirit of compassion, but what he's saying makes sense. So let me try it. And then years, 2015 was his first book. And then the medical industry was like, you know what? He's on to something. And now they're finally saying, MS, Epstein-Barr, there's a link. The reason why you are sick is because you have a virus, just like the flu, just like COVID. Multiple sclerosis is a collection of symptoms that were created from the virus, the whereabouts of the virus in your body. So what I talk about in, in day uh, one of the workshop are the four stages of the virus. One, you, the first stage, you don't even know you have it. It's in, you contracted it from somebody, it's in your body, it's getting a lay of the land. It's like, okay, where am I? How am I gonna attack? When am I gonna attack? You don't even know you have it. This is when it's easily killed, but you don't even know you have it. Stage two, the body goes, ooh, she's under a good amount of stress. Look at that. Whether it's a breakup, whether it's a car accident, whether it's puberty, menopause, childbirth, the, the virus is very smart and it goes, I see that, that stress hormone, she's vulnerable. Now's the attack, let's do it. And that's when you're either going to get sick or you're gonna get mono, depending on the strain of the virus and how um, mild or aggressive that it is. There are over 65 different strains of the Epstein-Barr virus. 65 different strains. It's just like any other virus. The flu has all different strains. COVID is now on what number strain are we on now? It's morphing. It's learning. It's evolving just like all other viruses and organisms. Six over 65 different strains. It was discovered in the 1900s, early 1900s. It has had time to adapt inside the body. So what happens is stage two, it, um, you get sick. You're either gonna get really sick or you're gonna get mono and you're gonna end up in the hospital like I did for weeks when I was in middle school and then again in high school. If it's very mild though, you might not even know that you have mono. You could think that you have allergies, right? You never even go to the doctor. But what happens is stage two, you get better, your symptoms go away, and your doctor's like, hey, great, you just got over whatever you had, or you just got over mono, we just did the blood test, it's gone, we see no virus, great. All we see are the antibodies from your immune system because it did a good job fighting it. Yeah, it did a good job fighting it, but guess what? The virus is not dead, the virus went, shit, this place sucks, I don't wanna stay in your bloodstream because I'm getting attacked like hell. I want to go into one of your organs where it's going to be safe for me and where I could feed endlessly on the buffet of heavy metals that you have in your body, okay? So then stage three is the virus leaves your bloodstream and it heads for an organ. Whatever organ that it heads for is gonna give you a collection of symptoms. Those symptoms are gonna lead you to the doctor and the, doc the neurologist. The neurologist is gonna say, hmm, well this collection of symptoms is called thyroidism. This collection of symptoms is called multiple sclerosis. Ah, oh, this one is rheumatoid arthritis. Ah, oh, this one is lupus. Notice that they're all autoimmune diseases. So depending on where the virus decided to take up a residence, for us with MS, it decided to live in our liver and in our spleen. Right? For people with thyroidism, it's in their thyroid. With people with lupus, now you're either gonna get IBS or you're gonna get lupus if it's in your gut lining. So it decided to live in the gut. If you have a really um, mild strain of the virus, you're gonna have IBS, like my mother. Or if you have a really aggressive strain of the virus, you're gonna get diagnosed with lupus. All of these are autoimmune diseases. There's no such thing as an autoimmune disease. Your body is never automatically attacking itself for no reason. That is ridiculous. It sounded ridiculous when you first heard it and it's still ridiculous. Because our bodies are perfect. Our bodies are always healing, always. Go prove it to yourself. Go find a cut on your body and watch it heal. Go, if you're anything like me, go pick a pimple until it bleeds and then watch it heal. 
your body is always healing. So it's easy for us to say, oh, well, of course that, you know, pimple is going to heal because, you know, that, that's what my, my body does. That's what your body does inside and out. On the inside, on the outside, your body is always healing. Your body is never attacking itself. So if your body is attacking something, it's your job to get rid of it. So now we have all the information. We have no excuses to be sick anymore. There is no excuse to have a symptom. MS anymore with the information that we have. Now you're saying, fuck, well, where do I get started? Well, you already did. You're here. Now you know why you're sick. You know you have a virus. You know that viruses are completely vulnerable to our immune system. That's why our immune system has been attacking for so long. That's why you have chronic fatigue. That's why you have heat intolerance. The heat intolerance I'm going to say this because I get a lot of questions about, oh my God, I had no idea the doctor never said this. No, the doctor doesn't say a lot of things. Heat intolerance is your body going, fa I'm sorry, excuse me. If you have kids in the room, please remove them. Oh, Zuluka, let me, let me know if I'm saying you're right. Yeah, I guess you can't, but I want to know if I'm saying your name correctly, Zuluka. It's absolutely beautiful. Zuluka, you were the one who inspired me to do this today. When you said, hey, I'm new, I'm not on medication. Where do I start? I was like, you know what? That's that's a great question. Let's answer that for everybody. And everyone, that's how it works. If you have a question, that means a ton of other people do. So Zuluka, Zuluka says, the heat is the worst. Okay, so forgive my language, Zuluka, if you're new here, the F-bombs drop. So what is heat intolerance? It is your body going, fuck you, I do enough for you. I'm not gonna control your temperature too because you're not gonna die if you get too hot and you're not gonna die if you get too cold. You're gonna turn up the air conditioning or you're gonna put on a sweater. Your body is going, listen, Okay, let's use Zaluka, right, as an example. Zaluka, I have been fighting a virus for freaking decades. I don't know how long you've been sick, so let me know if it's been decades. I have been fighting your virus, this virus, for freaking decades. I keep you safe every freaking day from this virus. I'm fighting 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and now you want me to do shit like keep you uh, warm or cool you off or cool you down? No, I can't. I'm too busy. So now, oh, nine years. Okay, your body has been fighting this virus for nine freaking years. It's tired. So as soon as you do your part to start killing the virus and helping out your immune system, as soon as that viral load comes down, your immune system goes, oh my fucking God, thank you so much. I was so tired. I can finally rest. Once your immune system is given the chance to rest, then it goes, all right, what else do you need done? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's hot out. Let me let me work on your temperature. And it brings it down. And then your body can do all the things that it's always wanted to do for you, but couldn't because it, if it didn't kill that virus, if it didn't fight the virus every single day, you would have been dead. So the fact that you're still here, thank your body and say, all right, listen, I get it. You couldn't cool me off. I get it. That's what heat intolerance is. We just have to give our body some help. So if you heard me say the cleaning lady um, analogy a million times, I'm really sorry, but there are like 42 new people in this group. So I wanna, I wanna make sure like you're getting the full picture. Picture this, hold on, I need a drink. You have a cleaning person come into your house every day, but she can only stay for 30 minutes. Great, what is she gonna do? Well, she's gonna come in, she's gonna do the dishes, wipe off the counters and, and maybe maybe sweep the floor, right? That's 30 minutes of her time, she's done, she leaves. And you look around, and you're like, all right, well, the kitchen is pretty clean. Um, but by the time she comes back the next day, because remember, she comes in every day for 30 minutes. By the time she comes in the next day, you have put in an entire sink full of dishes, the floor is dirty again, and everything that she did, you undid. So now she comes in, she does the same thing over again, and she's like, oh, fuck, gotta do it again. Nothing ever gets done, right? If you stayed on top of the things that she did when she came in, so let's say you kept the sink empty, you kept the counters clean, and you kept the floor swept. She comes in the next day and she goes, oh, okay, perfect. You know what? I'm gonna go clean the bathroom. I got 30 minutes, I'm gonna go clean the bathroom. And then you keep on top of that. The next day she comes in, she's like, oh, wow, you know what? Your living room needs painting. It looks like shit. I'm going to go put a, a coat of paint on that. And then she does that. And all of a sudden, in a couple of months, your house is amazing. You're not relying on that cleaning person. She's helping you. That's the same thing that you're doing with your body. You have to help your body. You cannot just say, well, I have an immune system. The immune system will, my immune system will fight it. Meanwhile, I'm going to feed the virus over here. Meanwhile, I'm going to mess up the house. So when you feed the virus gluten, dairy, eggs, and heavy metals, you're keeping it alive. You're like, okay, great. 
um, I'm going to just keep feeding this virus and my immune system will take care of it. Your immune system's like, Jesus Christ, I am sorry about that. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. I'm sorry. So your immune system's like, I have been fighting nonstop and you're feeding the enemy. You're feeding the enemy and I, I can barely keep up. And that's why we decline over the years because the enemy is getting fed and your immune system is getting tired. Why? Because we're getting we're getting older. We're getting older. We get tired in our old age, right? We run out of resources. You just have to give your body what it needs. So then that's what I talked about on day two. Day two is, okay, great. I have a virus. It's invading my entire body. I can't feel my legs. I'm dizzy all the time. Um, where, what do I do? You want a medium, um, immediate results, right? I do. Because what if somebody said, you know, exercise every day for an hour and in a year you might see a result? <laughs> no, I would not be exercising at all. You want to see results right away. And your body does respond right away. So with the lemon water and with the celery juice, you're going to start there and you're going to stay there. And that's what we do in the Path to Healing group. We start with the lemon water and the celery juice and we talk to each person every day and we're like, okay, where are you at? What are you feeling? Um, okay, you know what? Back off of that. Do that. And this one's given a testimony of, oh my God, I've totally been there. Don't worry. It goes away. It only lasts a couple of days. Everyone's supporting everybody. The reason why you want to start slow and start with the lemon water and the celery juice is because that's actually the detox process of the star of kill detox protocol. We start with a detox because we don't want to overwhelm our bodies. And the way we overwhelm our bodies is by killing off the virus too quickly because even the dead virus is a neurotoxin and a dermatoxin. A lot more details in the workshop video. So I just want to give an overview. I want to say everything that I wasn't able to say in the video because there's so much information. So inspiration runs out. You can go to the website, go to the success stories and go, oh my God, if she can do it, I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Motivation runs out. You have to see results. You have to see results right away. Now results, let's discuss the results. You will see them right away. The lemon water alone, people see results with. It's amazing, especially because most people are dehydrated. Um, so that alone is going to give you energy. But the lemon water is getting in through the gut and getting into the organs and allowing everything to get absorbed, right? And working to detox. So Luca, I am so glad you're here. I really am. Okay, so then the celery juice, the celery juice is doing a shit ton of things. There's a whole book on it from the medical medium, but we're just going to be talking about what it's doing um, in terms of killing the virus for, for MS reasons. So, but if you want to know exactly what, what celery juice does, buy the book. It's amazing. <clears throat> Me medical medium. So then you start in with the celery juice. You have to start very slowly because the celery juice kills the virus on contact, on contact. So if the virus is in your gut lining, the virus is going to get to it. It's going to kill it. And your body's going to go literally get the shit out of me. And it's going to use the light at the end of the tunnel. And you are going to pass it right through in the, in the way of diarrhea. If you don't get the diarrhea, don't think that the celery juice didn't find the virus. It's just that the virus is no longer in your gut lining. And if you eat very healthy, uh, you, the virus is not going to like your gut lining. And it's going to be just in your organs. And yes, the celery juice does get in through and to your organs where it can kill the virus. But it doesn't have a light at the end of the tunnel. So that's why you're not getting the diarrhea because your body is using the other exits, the excretory system, the lymphatic system. And again, that's where the water comes in because you're using your lymphatic system to get the dead virus out. You need that lymph um, fluid to move. The only way that it moves is your movement, which a lot of us can't move yet. So it's the water. You're using the water to flush it through. It's amazing what an increase of water will do for the body. There are, I'll get into that later. Okay, so <clears throat> you're killing a virus. When you're killing the virus and it's getting out of your system, the dead virus itself can overwhelm the body. That's why we start with the detox process so that you start detoxing right away so that as you start killing the virus, the virus has a way out and quickly. Otherwise, if you overwhelm your body with the dead virus, which is a dermatoxin, a neurotoxin, you're going to feel like you're going through an exacerbation. And then you're going to say, holy shit, I listened to this chick on Facebook and now I'm getting worse. I'm having an exacerbation. You have to know the information before you start doing anything. Because if you're not in the group, if you're not starting on Monday with the new Path to Healing group and you're by yourself and you start getting worse, you're going to go, oh my God, I'm getting worse. This means that I'm, I'm, whatever I'm doing is not working. I'm actually hurting my body because I'm getting worse. 
No, healing always has its peaks and its valleys and those valleys can be very scary and you have to know when to stop so that you don't go too far into a valley so that the peak comes right back. And the way the body works is, let's say you've never started anything of the lemon water, the celery juice or anything before. Let's say your baseline energy level is here. I always use my shelves as the. So let's say your baseline energy is here. When you start drinking the lemon water and the celery juice, your energy might, not for everybody, but there's a big possibility that your energy level is going to go down. The tingling is going to get worse and you're going to say, oh my God, I'm getting worse. And then you're going to go, oh, wait a second. No, I'm not. Janine talked about this. The other members in Minding Your Soul talked about this. My Path to Healing group. Oh, thank God for them. They've been through this. When your energy level starts going down, you're going to go, okay, now I need to stop. You back off the celery juice and then you wait for that energy level to come back up. When that energy level comes back up, it doesn't stay. It doesn't go back up to the baseline. It goes a little bit higher. And that's how the healing works. That's how healing of the body works. It doesn't just start going, ooh, I'm healed. I'm healed even more. I'm healed even more. It, do it doesn't go straight up in a line. It peaks and valleys. So it goes down and then it goes up. So what we want to try to do is go two steps back, three steps up, two steps back, three steps up all the information you know no sorry all the information you need to know when to stop and when to start unfortunately is in hindsight you watch your actions and how you responded to them you watch what I mean by that is you watch how much celery juice you drank and how your body responded to it and then you make uh, a change if needed you either drink more or you drink less and you keep doing that all the answers are in hindsight which is why I know I sound like a broken record and I'm not just plugging the path to healing coaching group I talk about this for a reason it is very important to know that other people went through this what you're going through is normal and that it will pass. Don't worry, you're not going through an exacerbation because healing feels like an exacerbation and mentally it could take you down a rabbit hole and that's what causes most people to stop and then healing doesn't happen. And so this group, this group that I have right now, the existing group started on, wait, I wrote it down, October 3rd. That was when the last Path to Healing group started. So Path to Healing isn't open all the time, though I'm, I'm playing around with that idea. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll get back to that. So Path to Healing right now isn't open all the time. It opens a couple of times a year because we start with a group. We, we get a group of people in. We work with them for four months and then another group comes in and then this group is integrated with this group. So the existing group right now, they're waiting for you to come in. They can't wait because they've experienced the healing. There are so many people I had to make a list. So Ginger, Tracy, Natalie, Marge, they're all in the group and all of their stories can be found either on the success stories or in this group. So Tracy just posted a video the other day. I just stuck it on the website right before this. She started with the last path to healing when we opened it on October 3rd. When she started in the group, in the path to healing group, she had been in a wheelchair for four years. She doesn't ever go anywhere without a wheelchair. Four years. She started the path to healing group. She started the protocol in October. October, November, December, January. February, she posted the video just last Sunday. She posted the video of her walking with her walker. The wheelchair was over there in the corner. You could still see it. This is the first time in her life and her, her physical therapist is like, what are you doing? This is insane. I've never seen anybody heal like this. She's not the only story. So that's in five months. She went from the wheelchair to walking. And then there was Ginger. I, I wonder if, uh, if anyone's new here, please go back in the videos and watch Ginger's video. Ginger did the same thing in four months. She went from bedridden. Now she's getting up and she's dancing. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. It's not like, oh, she's getting up and dancing and now she just dances all the time. Peaks and valleys, where she, everyone's still going through the peaks and valleys, but that's how fast healing happens with only a couple months. That path to healing group accelerates the process because not only am I giving you the protocol and we're working through each part of the protocol, but you're also getting the vibrational clearings. You're getting the subconscious clearings of all the crap that we accumulated in our lives that is still running in the subconscious. We're clearing that off every month. Please don't ask me how. Catherine Rose has a website and I still, after working with her for 10 years, I still can't talk about it in an intelligent way because it's so I don't want to say it's beyond me because it's not but a lot of it still is um, okay so then there's Natalie Natalie's over in South Africa 
she joined the Path to Healing group, right? And I'm like, Natalie, how are you going to do this? It's 11 o'clock your time. She's like, it's okay. She just said recently, after five months of being in the group, she just said recently, I would get up at two o'clock in the morning for this group. She got on the exercise bike for the first time. Didn't think she could. She's like, All right. and it's scary as hell. She's like, let me see if I can do this. She's on the exercise bike. So Marge posted a video. Marge had been using her walker for, Marge, I forgot how many years. I wonder if she's on here. She's dealing with a snowstorm right now. She might not be on here. But Marge, for the first time in, oh God, over a decade, let's just say over a decade, I don't know the exact number of years, walked for the first time without her walker. For the first time! She just told the story about how, you know, family member didn't, didn't believe what she was doing could help. And they finally came over and she got up and she walked around the table and their mouth was on the floor. And as she's telling the story, there's just this huge smile on her face. Healing happens for everybody. Now, listen, I don't know if this is true. One of my clients just said, Janine, you have more success stories than any other protocol I've ever seen. I don't know if that's true, but I want to go find a way to uh, confirm that because I'd, I'd love to be able to use that. I do have a lot of success stories. This protocol, I did not come up with it. Well, I came up with the protocol, but most of the information is the medical medium stuff. So what I did was I took all the medical medium books, I read them and digested all the information and made it and put it in a simple way for us to follow that doesn't overwhelm our lives. All right. So you know how we talk about the body, mind and soul. Let's talk about the overwhelm. First, let me lower this heat because I thought I needed it. Now I'm hot. All right. So let's talk about the overwhelm. You know how I talked about before, you don't ever want to overwhelm your body with the die off of the virus because that's going to overwhelm your bloodstream, cause dizziness and cause more symptoms. You want to start slowly, a couple ounces with the celery juice. And what I wanted to say, don't blend the celery juice in a blender and drink the pulp. You have to juice it. Just drink the juice. No, drinking the pulp or eating the celery doesn't make it better or stronger. Actually, just juicing it and drinking the juice is the best way to do it where you're going to get the most healing. I saw a couple um, posts about that. I wanted to I wanted to say that. Okay, so let's go back to the overwhelm. We address the body, the mind, and the soul in the Path to Healing group. We've got all the coaches. We do Monday and Tuesday. We do the protocol. We talk about the protocol. We talk about open forum on Tuesday where we just talk about everything. We talk about life. And then Thursday is a rotation of the other coaches. The reason why we do that is because healing can be overwhelming, not just on the physical level, but on the mental level and on the subconscious and the conscious level, it is overwhelming. When you decide to heal, you don't decide consciously, you don't decide to just heal one thing. I know consciously we're thinking, I want to walk, so I want to heal, and then I'm going to walk, so I want to heal the fact that I can't walk. Yes, that's going to happen. But healing on so many levels happens at the same time, because when you make that declaration, I'm going to heal, your body goes, oh, thank God, we've been waiting for this, thank you. It's not just physical. I have a client, um, an existing client right now. You'll meet her if you're coming in on Monday. When she started the protocol four months ago, she goes, she just recently said, I have a renewed energy for the physical part. Now I'm starting the, the protocol because when she decided to heal, there was so much stuff in her life people, places, and things that needed to be healed, which needed to be removed. She needed to deal with so much on a personal, emotional, mental level first in order to have it in her to do all the physical parts. And at first she thought she was not doing it right. She wasn't keeping up with everybody else. And I said, no, that's how you do it. That's what healing looks like. You had to fix and remove and heal all these other areas in your life first so that you could pay attention to yourself and give your body now everything that it needs. And now healing is happening for her. So if you're not starting the path to healing on Monday, and if you do want to start mindingyoursoul.com, just you can sign up right there. It's a path to healing menu. Sign up, you get all the information, payment plans, whatever payment plan you want. There's a 12 month payment plan. I don't care about the money. I just need you to heal. I need you to heal because I need you to see what is on the other side of MS. This life, these choices, not being stuck, being able to play with your kids, having the energy to do the things you want to do. I remember being stuck inside that body going, this isn't me. This is just the body that's not keeping up with my mind. I'm in here. This is not how I want to live. I felt so stuck inside my body. This life that I have right now, 
I have choices. I'm not stuck. I can do whatever I want to do because I have the energy to do it and the body that is able to do it. I posted a picture a couple days ago of what I looked like 10, 14 years ago. 14, I always say 10, 14 years ago now. My daughter's 16. I was 200 and something pounds and I say something because I stopped weighing myself at 200 because I thought the scale was broken. I got on the scale, it said 200. I'm like, ah, something's wrong with this scale. I got a third away. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the scale. I was 200 pounds and there were times where I was completely bedridden. Not consistently. I wasn't consistently bedridden, but there were times where it would last months where I had no arms and no legs and that's where my daughter fell in front of me and I couldn't get to her. Two-year-old, sweet little thing fell and I couldn't get to her. That's when something snapped and I went, I don't fucking care what the doctors say. I will raise my children. I will be a mother and my legs will work. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I made some declaration that the universe heard and little by little I found the information. Now I don't want you to go through those 14 years that I went through. Let's say 10 because I started the, the business four years ago. Let's say 10. I don't want you to go through those 10 years because in those 10 years, my peaks and my valleys, my peaks weren't very high and my valleys were so fucking low. It would take me months to get out of them, which is why I spend so much time talking about don't let yourself go into that valley. Don't think that you're not healing. You are healing. A valley feels like an ex exacerbation. It's not. You're healing. And if you know what's going on in your body, if you educate yourself with the information that's in this group, in the medical medium books, go to the testimonials, reach out to the people, everyone who is on the testimonials page, actually I called it success stories. Everyone who is on the success stories page is in this group. So if you find someone that you're like, really, this happened for them? I wish I could talk to them. Go talk to them. Go tag them in the group. Go send them a message. Everyone on there, I've gotten permission, obviously, I've gotten permission to put them on there, but I've also asked them, can people reach out to you if they have questions? And everyone said yes. I want you to know that there is absolutely no reason. If you feel stuck right now, if you feel like you can't heal, you absolutely can. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't cost any money. If you want to do this on your own, I recommend really educating yourself with these videos and making sure you know exactly what you're doing so that you don't go too far in, into those trenches. Excuse me. If you want to accelerate your healing and your knowledge and use all of the coaches, the body, the mind, and the soul, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We start on Monday. If you're not going to start on Monday, I usually do leave it open for a couple weeks because I always have those stragglers coming in. They're like, I just decided I want to join. I have to do this. And I'm like, all right, all right, come on in. So people are always coming in the first couple weeks. Um, you're going to find, well, check the calendar first. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. The calendar is on the website. So just go to Path to Healing Enrollment. Click on that. All the information, the dates, the calendar, everything's on there. Make sure that those times work for you. If you decide to do it on your own, please educate yourself. Please reach out to me. Do a, I do free consultations. I'm telling you, you don't have to pay for anything if you don't want to. The only thing that I charge for is my time for coaching. That's it. Because I believe all of this information needs to be taught in schools. Anyway, so it's just the coaching. The group coaching is what costs money. The private sessions cost money. Yes, you can work with me privately if you want to. I highly recommend the group. The group of very supportive, kind, really nice people are waiting for you to come in on Monday so that they can help you and guide you and support you along the way. You really do make lifelong friends in this group because when you heal together, there is no other, there is no other time in your life that compares to the time that you healed and the group of people that you do it with become lifelong friends. So, all right, what else do I want to say? There is <clears throat> a lot of acronyms going on in this. So I'm going to get to the questions in here. Um, in just a second. In the group, there's a lot of ac acronyms. The Lemon Water, LW, CJ's, uh, Celery Juice, SKD, Starve, Kill, Detox. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to post a welcome video that goes over everything. And please, if you're not new in the group, please help other people out just like you've been doing. This group is probably one of the, we have over 1,800 people in this group and I've never had to block anybody. I've never had to say, oh, please don't post that. Never. It's, it's amazing. There are no victims in this group. Everybody here is on their healing journey. They are compassionate. They meet you where you are and they're not judgmental. So whatever you need, reach out to whomever. The people on the testimonials page, reach out to me, do a free consultation. 
The Path to Healing four-month coaching program starts on Monday. Reach out and do these things. There's no reason to have symptoms when the information is now out there on how to heal. And it's not that hard. At the end of the four months, you're like, I can't believe how many freaking changes I made. It doesn't even feel like it. It just felt like I was having a good time every week and we were laughing really hard. We have a really good time and we make the changes easy. And yes, you can eat pizza, pasta, and ice cream. But I was talking to someone last week on a free consultation. She's like, Janine, you make it sound like you can live on pizza, pasta, and ice cream and still heal. I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. No, you can't do that. (laughs) You have to focus on fruits and vegetables, of course. But like other protocols, you don't have to eat 32,000 cups of them every single day. This is a normal way of living. You take this protocol and you fit it into your life. You don't take your life and fit it into this protocol. This is a normal way of living. I don't feel deprived. None of the paths to healing people feel deprived because you feel better once you start this and you find your substitutions. The first thing we work on are your comfort foods because like I said, motivation runs out, inspiration runs out. Uh, you're going to find yourself, hopefully, if you're anything like me, you're going to find yourself on the couch on a day where you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck everything today. I'm so fucking done. And you're going to sit there and you're going to need an ice cream or you're going to need a pizza, a pizza, an entire pizza. And you can do that and still heal. You have to be able to do that and still heal. That's why we find the healing foods first. We find your comfort foods. You want macaroni and cheese? I will find you macaroni and cheese. I will find you gluten-free, dairy-free, good tasting macaroni and cheese. Actually, it is made by Amy's. So, all right, let's go to the questions. Um, oh, Rhonda, you're so sweet. The first, the first comment I saw when I looked over here, Rhonda says, please reach out to me if you have any questions or support. Rhonda is another one. I can't, she was on my list. I didn't get through the entire list. I, Rhonda is on the list of people who healed. She is one of those people. She's like, great. You got information for me? That's perfect. I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to heal myself. Rhonda healed herself with the information in this group just by simply watching the videos and doing it. It absolutely can be done. And she's so freaking gracious. She just said, everyone, please reach out to me if you have any questions or need support. Everyone here is for you to help you heal that's what we're doing here and as soon as you start healing you're going to be the same way you're going to be like holy shit this wasn't that hard this is how i do it and you're going to start healing and everyone's going to come back to life you'll notice the people that i interview especially ginger stands out right now i'm going to use her as an example when i first met her she signed up for the october 3rd uh path to healing she would take the calls from the couch she was always laying down And um, she had a dreadlock on top of her head because it was hard for her, her to brush her hair. She didn't have the energy to do it. Four months later, she's got a haircut. She's wearing makeup. She's sitting up. She's got a room that she dedicated to herself where we call it now the she shed. She has come to life. Yes, there are still peaks and valleys. And yes, she's still going through her valleys and her peaks. It's not just like one day she woke up and oh, she's a whole new person. But that's how quickly the healing happens in four months. I think it was October, November, December, January, February, March, October, one, two, three, four. Yeah, in four months she did this. So the video is on the, the success stories on mindingyoursoul.com. It's in this group. They're here for you. It's amazing how quickly you come to life when you start healing. All right, so there's a lot of conversations going on in here. Wanda, I, Wanda is another person who is so gracious and helping out and just saying, hey, listen, here's the information. This is how you do it. I picture us, all of us, in Minding Your Soul and in the Path to Healing especially, we're all running this marathon, right? And we're like, okay, we've healed. Let's, let's, let's go spread the word. Let's go spread the information. And as we're running, we see people on the curb and we're like, oh, what you doing down there? And they're like, well, I want to heal. I just need a little help. Well, all right, let's go. And either you grab them up by your hand, you put them on your back, and you keep going. And we're like, okay. And then they get strong enough. They jump down. They start running. And then they start picking somebody up off the curb and going, oh, you need help? Yeah, come on over. Come on. We got you. Let's go. And we all start running together. The mission in Minding Your Soul is to heal yourself so that you can pass on this information and heal somebody else. And eventually, we're going to spread like a new freaking virus. Do you remember how fast COVID spread from coast to coast and then around the world? That's how fast this information can spread. If one person just tells one person, there are over 1,800 people in this group. Over 1,800 people. I can't do the math, but what if everyone told three people? Can you imagine how fast this would spread? 
we're starting by the testimonials. People need evidence. They need to see that this works. That's why, and I don't ask people to do this, but they're making videos. I love this trend that whoever started making videos. One of my very first clients, she's on the success stories. Um, she's so shy. She never wanted to um, be on a live at five or do an interview. And she actually posted a video. She hated running. She said her whole life she hated running and then she got sick and she couldn't run. And then she got so sick she couldn't leave her apartment. And that's when she found me a couple of years later. After she stuck in her apartment, she went to the market maybe every now and then, but her daughter took her and it was hard for her to do, but she needed to get out of the house. She posted a video of her running. And she said, you know what? I hate running, but I do it because I can. This is the information that she used, the Star of Kill Detox. This is the information that she used, and now she's running. Dawned on there, one of my other early clients, she used this information. She's now running. For the first time in 10 years, she put her running sneakers on, and first she started with walking, and then built up to running. It is absolutely possible for everybody, and it's not like all of these people who have healed have one thing in common. No, they don't. Okay, wait, maybe they do. The one thing that they have in common is that they all reached out for help and said, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. What do I need to do? So in this group, I have created something for everybody, whether you have very little resources or whether you have a ton of resources, it doesn't matter. All of the information, we're all treated the same. It is all free in this group. And if you want the coaching, if you can afford the accelerate, it's only $1,500 for four months. But I remember back in the day, not too long ago when I was a single parent, if someone said to me, it's only $1,500, I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't have an extra $10. I can't do that. I get that. That's why the information is always free. That's why there's free consultations. But if you do have the resources, if you do have available uh, funds each month and you want that coaching every month, if, you, if you're the kind of person who likes to get on Zoom because my husband's like, no fucking way, Zoom every week, no. But you know what? I think it's more for women. I've never had a man client, and I don't know what I would say to a man if he wanted to join us. Um, we would have to talk about that in depth. All right, so <clears throat> let me scroll back up here and see if we have... Oh, Zaluka, good. Um, she said it makes sense. Perfect. She's new here. Zaluka's new here. And when she posted this morning about, hey, where do I start? I'm new. I'm not on meds. What do I do? That's what inspired me to do this. So thank you, because here I was Wednesday morning, and I'm like, I don't have a Life of Five topic. Everyone in my house got sick. My mother has pneumonia. She's not in my house, but I went to go see her, and then I got scared that I got my one-year-old sick. He doesn't have pneumonia, but now I'm getting a sore throat. My husband's being taken down. So I, I've been a little quiet, and I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. So, Zaluka, thank you for that. Oh, and, and you're welcome. She's thanking me. You're welcome. Um, okay. Is there a recommendation on an amount to drink when starting to drink this? Yeah, absolutely. Watch day two. That's on day two. But real quick, I'll start with a couple ounces. You don't know how you're going to respond to celery juice, and you don't want to find out the hard way. 16 ounces is the sweet spot. That's where you want to work up to. 16 ounces is where it's going to get in and it's going to get through and it's going to start healing. But don't start with 16 ounces. Do not start with 16 ounces. Let me say that again. Start with a couple ounces. It's not like you're going to die if you drink 16 ounces. I mean, it's all healing. But if the virus is in your gut lining and you drink those 16 ounces, you are going to be running to the bathroom um, with diarrhea and depending, and we've never spoken before, so I don't know how sick you are, but if you're someone who's very sensitive and bedridden, please don't start with 16 ounces. That's too much healing for your body. And then you might be going, how is too much healing um, a bad thing? Think about it. Too much of anything is a bad thing. You want your body to heal so fast and your body doesn't have the, the energy, the resources. It just doesn't have the resources to do it. Start with a couple ounces and work your way up with there. Lemon water, you're fine. Um, some people have to start slowly with the lemon water. So if you think that might be you, start slowly with that. This isn't a race. Here's a big, here's a, here is a big thing that I noticed after working with all of these clients. The ones who heal the quickest are the ones who go the slowest. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but think about it. Just let's, let me walk you through it. Every single person, including myself, who says, here's the information. All right, I know what to do now. Now I'm going to do it. I'm going to go balls to the wall. I'm doing everything. I'm going to do it all at once. I'm going I'm to be the fastest healer of MS in the world. It don't work that way. In fact, you will go so far into a trench like I did, and it will take you months to get out. Think about it. You ask that much of your body and you fall into that trench and your body goes now what now we got to climb and dig our way back up by the time you get back up to where you were your body's like that was fucking exhausted i don't think i can do that again 
and now you're exhausted. Now, the alternative is, okay, we're healing, we're healing, we're healing, and you're like, oh, I should probably take a break. And then your ego pops in there and goes, don't take a break. Don't you want to heal? Don't you want to heal faster? Don't take a break. Keep going. Don't listen to that voice. Listen to the very, very quiet voice that goes, you should probably take a break. You're getting a little tired. Most of the people in this group and minding your soul, minding your soul attracts the badasses. And the badasses are the ones who go, I don't need no stinking break. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, don't do that. I did that and I learned the hard way. Everything that I teach you in this group is because I freaking learned the hard way. I made all the mistakes. I took all of that for 10 years before I finally started going, oh, oh, this is what I should be doing. Oh, this is what I should be doing. Okay, it took me so freaking long, which is why Starve, Kill, Detox is all about the peaks and the valleys and taking breaks. Don't go too fast. The people who heal the fastest are the ones who take the most breaks. Give your body time to catch up. Give your body the time to heal. If you go, no, my body can handle it, I'm totally going to do it. That's what's going to slow you down because it's going to take you that much longer to get out of that trench. And there's no going around it. There's, there's no getting around that. That happens for everybody. So, Zaluka, Zalika, I need you to correct that. I'm going to send you a voice memo and I want you to send, I to make sure I'm saying it right. Make sure you go slow. Start with a couple ounces and work your way up. And then while you're working up to the 16 ounces of lemon water and the celery juice, while you're working up to that, it's going to take a couple weeks, you're going to be fixing up your diet. Okay, what's in here that's gluten? What's dairy? What's eggs? How do I get rid of it? Take one thing a week. Go to the grocery store. every. We go to the grocery store every week, right? Most of us. All right, or at least we're making a list and somebody's going to the grocery store for us. When you make that list, pick one thing. Notice one thing that you're eating that week and go... Let me see if I can get this gluten-free. Like, what are freaking crackers? Go change them to gluten-free. Um, waffles, the Vans waffles. Go change those to gluten-free. The Vans are the gluten-free, the blueberry. One thing at a time. That's why it's a four-month program. Because you can't just start everything all at once. You will crash. I've never seen anyone who didn't crash. And please don't let your ego go, I'm going to be that one person. Please go slow. So a lot of resources in this group. There is a going gluten-free with ease guide in the files section. The um, morning routine, what I talked about on day two, the whole, that's module two of the path to healing. I also give away that for free. And I will post these in the group. They've been posted in the group where you just put in your name and your address. Uh, not your address, your name and your email address. And then you get the PDF emailed to you. I'll put that in the group again and again so that everyone starts um, getting all of these guides. The reason why I do that with the email address is so that I have your email address so that when I send out the emails, you're on the list. And then I don't have to say, send me your email address. So I don't go crazy with the emails. I, I can't stand like when people, like you sign up for something and they email you, not even every week, it's like three times a week. You're like, dude, I'm so sick of you and it's been two weeks. No, I don't have the time to do that. I'm lucky if I get out one a week. I'm lucky, maybe two a month, you know? I strive for one a week, that's, that's my ultimate goal. All right, so um, <clears throat> let's go back here. You make it look for a juicer, and look for a juicer. You don't have to spend a ton of money on it, just look for a juicer, don't blend it. You don't wanna be drinking the pulp. The pulp has the cellulose in it, and it's very damaging if you drink too much of that at one time. And since we're working up to 16 ounces every day, you got to juice it. It's the, the, the magic is in the juice. Okay, okay. Wanda says, okay. Um, Quinn, this is the tribe. This is the tribe. These are the people. These are the people. We're all healing together. Wanda, you're so sweet. She just said PM me on Facebook if you need anything. Yeah, let's be the virus. Wanda, right? Let's be the new virus. Let's be the new virus that's spread out there because I'll tell you what you guys know you've been in other Facebook groups there's a lot of victims out there there's a lot of people who want to be sick and that's fine that's their story that's their journey but there's a ton more people who want to heal who just haven't been introduced to the information yet so listen word of advice when you start introducing this information to people do not be surprised if you are rejected in every way possible people are scared People are scared to follow something that their doctor don't recommend. So that's okay. Let them be on their journey. You just be the example. You just be the example. You start healing and the people will come to you. That's not to say stop going, oh yeah, here, are you looking for help? Here's, uh, here's my near soul. Go join it. It's free. Just be ready for the, the backlash if you're like, I healed. This is how I did it. Here's the information. People are going to look at you like you got three heads and they're going to block you from the group. That happened to me many, many times. Um, 
so yeah, I just I just want to set you up for success there. So Luca says, I'm not. I'm very functional. I'm not. I am very functional. Okay, just fight fatigue a lot. Okay, good. So we talked about fatigue earlier. So Luca, why are you, Zalika? Why are you fatigued? You know what? I'm going to leave that for you to answer. Why, after hearing the information that you just heard, just in this one, just in this one video. Why do you think you're fatigued? What's actually going on inside your body? What fight is happening inside your body that's making you so fatigued? And don't say MS, because MS isn't a thing. The virus is a thing. So you're, I'm not going to give you the answer. You, you just answer that, and I'll look for it. All right. Oh, Monica, great question. When should you start the heavy metal detox smoothie? I think I also talked about this in day two. So I'm going to give you the quick answer. You want more detail. It's in day two of the workshop last week, which is all on YouTube, by the way, guys. If you go on YouTube, um, it's funny, I didn't know this, and a lot of my clients told me. When you go on the Minding Your Soul YouTube channel, it brings you to the homepage. The homepage only shows you four videos, and you're like, really, Janine, four videos? Where, where's the rest of it? You have to click on videos. So it's home, it's videos, it's playlists. You have to click on videos, and then you'll see all the videos. I didn't know that. One of my clients told me, and then my daughter's like, yeah, ma. I was like, I didn't know that. All right, so when do you introduce the heavy metal detox smoothie? Great question. When you know exactly how the celery juice is affecting you. So the lemon water and the celery juice, you're gonna stay there for a couple weeks. You're gonna stay there until you know exactly what the celery juice does. And let's say you, you worked up to 16 ounces and you're like, all right, I know when to take breaks from the celery juice. I know after three days of 16 ounces, three days in a row, I feel like this, I start getting tired and then I have to take a break and then I come back up and it usually takes me about four days to come back up to normal and then I start again. When you've got the whole celery juice routine down where you know exactly how much to drink and how that's going to make you feel, then you start the heavy, you start incorporating the heavy metal detox smoothie into your days. doesn't matter what time. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon, you can add anything you want to it. That's when you add that into your day because, remember the taking of the breaks, you want to know exactly how the heavy metal detox smoothie is going to affect you. It's nothing like the celery juice, so don't worry. But there are some side effects. Some people get headaches, um, so they have to back off the, the heavy metal detox smoothie. But you're not going to know what's causing the headache or whatever symptoms that you're getting if you started everything all at once. If you started the celery, the lemon water, the celery juice, the heavy metal detox smoothie all at once, so you got a headache, so you're getting tired. Okay, well, what's causing what? You don't know. So what are you going to take a break from? Everything. Okay, well, that's going to slow shit down. So we're trying to make this process as efficient as possible. So you start the lemon water and the celery juice. You stay there until you know exactly over weeks, over a couple weeks, how that's affecting you, how much you're drinking, how many days you have to take a break until you start again. Once you've got that in the bag and you're like, I'm good, I got it in the bag, I know exactly how much to drink, I know exactly how it makes me feel and for how long. Now you add the heavy metal detox smoothie. Now you drink the smoothie and you're like, well, I'm getting a little tired. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I just drank the celery juice for three days and I'm usually tired after that. Okay, I need to take a break from the celery juice. Let me just have the heavy metal tomorrow. So then the next day you have the heavy metal smoothie, no celery juice, and you're like, oh, okay, that, yeah, I've got no symptoms from this. This is great. This actually gives me a lot of energy. This feels good. Do you see how I mean how you're not going to know what's doing what if you start everything all at one time? And that's the same thing for the supplements. I recommend, and I'm not a doctor. I didn't do the disclaimer this time around. I'm not a doctor. I'm not certified in anything. I'm just someone who healed themselves from MS, and I'm giving you the information so you could do the same thing. So you can't say, well, Janine diagnosed me and said, no, Janine just is giving recommendations on what worked for her and work, what worked for the people that she works with and is passing it along to you. There, disclaimer done. So with the supplements, what I recommend is that you don't do your supplements, or at least most of them. You stick with the B12, you stick with your multivitamin, uh, fish oil even. You stop doing your crazy amounts of supplements for the first couple of months so that you can get that detox process working. Because by the end of the four months, and I'm talking about like the path to healing, so let's just say you're doing it on your own for the four months. I want you to have this information. So you stop your supplements, all the other supplements except, you know, the B12, the multivitamin, excuse me, and you see where you're at at three months and four months. And I say that because, and then you say, okay, what supplements do I still need? What supplements do I still want to take? Because so many times you're not, you don't need as many supplements as you think, or maybe you do, but you won't know 
until you stop taking the supplements, you give your body everything that it needs, the lemon water, the celery juice, the gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free. You're removing the heavy metals. You're doing all those things. You're getting your detox processes working. Your virus is coming down. Your immune system is like, oh my freaking God, thank you so much. And you have all of this energy. And that's when you're like, okay, I've got all this energy. I feel great. What supplements do I need to be taking? And then you can slowly add in the lemon balm, the cat's claw. Um, what else? I just started with the licorice, licorice root um, droppers. See, I'm still, even after 14 years, I'm still adding supplements in because you need to be at, at a plateau first, assess how you feel, and then decide what you want to add from that. You can't just throw everything in the kitchen sink, right, into your body and go, okay, heal. That's too much for it to deal with. Um, I hope I answered your question. Was that uh, Monica? So when should you start the heavy metal detox smoothie? After you know exactly how the lemon water and the celery juice is affecting you, what those symptoms are, add the heavy metal detox smoothie into whatever part of your day that you want. You can drink it at any time. You don't have to have it on an empty stomach. You don't have to wait. No, drink it whenever. Um, but just know, don't do everything all at one time. Okay, Wanda says, don't be scared, but definitely go slow and listen to your body. Getting rid of gluten and dairy is also important. Yeah, you want to stop feeding the virus. That's what we're doing here. You're starving the virus, you're killing it with your immune system, and then you're detoxing that dead virus out of your body. So we don't want to just kill the virus, right? We're, we're doing this in the most efficient way. So when we start that detox process first in our body, and then we start starving the virus by not giving it the gluten, the dairy, and the eggs. The virus emits this um, smoke screen to evade your immune system. When you're starving the shit out of that virus, it can't produce that smoke screen. So then your immune system can go, ah, yeah, fucker, I've been looking for you. And it can kill it. It can kill it. And then you take it out of the body with all those detox pathways. So the virus, the life cycle of the virus is only six weeks long. That's it. The virus, no matter what you're doing to it, feeding it, it doesn't matter. The virus itself only lives for six weeks. But in those six weeks, it's replicating. It's constantly replicating itself. Just like every other virus, just like every other organism, constantly replicating. Just like all the cells in our body. What you want to do is shorten the time that that, and the shorten the, the duration and also the, um, the damage that this virus can do inside your body by starving it. Because once you begin, so here's the virus, right? It's floating around your body. Once it's like, fuck, where's my food? Where's my food? You took away the gluten. You took away the dairy. I don't even have the heavy metals anymore. Are you kidding me? I'm starving. It's very weak and it cannot produce that smoke screen. And then your immune system can see it. So not only are you killing the virus on contact with that celery juice, you're allowing your immune system to now see it. So that's what I mean with the targeted attack. You're constantly targeting it. And yes, it's a lot. Sometimes, depending on what your lifestyle is, you do have to change a lot of things, which is why I recommend going into the, the group coaching because we do it together. We do it slowly. We kind of feed off of each other's successes. We help each other out. I don't have all the answers in terms of foods and, and what to eat. You know, I have my foods. I can give you advice on that. But when, you when you're in the group and they have all of this other advice and you hear the stories from everyone else, it's very empowering and it just keeps you going. And before you know it, you're at that four months. Now, the reason for this calendar, the reason why this is here, it goes all the way to January of 2022 and I just took down 2021 because we didn't need it anymore. I marked down all the people in Path to Healing the last time they ate gluten because what I started discovering was I wasn't writing anything down. I just started analyzing the data in my head going, oh my God, the la I'm listening to them talk and saying, oh my God, I feel the shift. I'm walking. I used to always go, God, it was about two months ago, right? That she said she didn't eat gluten anymore. So I started writing it down. I started, you know, you put your name on the calendar last time you eat gluten, because when you start doing all of these things, from the time you last ate gluten, it's always week eight, nine, or 10 that you feel that shift, that people start making videos of themselves um, walking. It's always week eight, nine, or 10. Because you take six weeks, right? That life cycle of the virus is only six weeks long. And then it takes a couple weeks for your body to start getting it all, flushing it out, and your immune system to come up. So six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and 10. Eight, nine, and 10 is always in that, is, 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 is the time frame in which everyone feels that shift. 
That's why we mark it down on the calendar. So if you're not in the path to healing on Monday, mark it down on your calendar the last time you ate gluten. And every time you eat gluten, cross that off and put the new date on. And keep on top of that. And you will, you will see as soon as you start feeling that shift, you're going to go to the calendar and count. And it's going to be week 8, 9, or 10. Okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, gluten-free, I have to get back to that. I was gluten-free, but fall back. We all do. And if, well, I'm not going to show it to you because it's probably a conflict. But if you could see how many people that I, the names are circled, right? Because that was the last day. And then I crossed them off because it happens to everybody. You can't just wake up one day and go gluten-free. And plus, if you don't know why you're going gluten-free and someone just says, oh, you want to heal MS, you know, you should be gluten-free. You're going to be like, okay, fine and you'll do it for a little while and you won't see a difference and then you're going to wonder like why is this important why am i doing this now you know the why you know now that gluten is directly feeding the virus and gluten feeds virus more than dairy more than eggs it's always the gluten that will set people back and give them symptoms it is the gluten so if you're not you know if you're not going into this with you know the why am i doing this then you're not going to stick with it and it's not because there's anything wrong with you it's just that you're human and that's what we do if we don't see results, we're not going to stick with it because why would we? It feels like a waste of time. Now that you know all of these factors that we all have to do at the same time within our body to starve the virus, to launch that attack, to get it out of our body, we have to be doing all the things all the time. And that is not something you can just wake up tomorrow and start doing. It is an evolution. And it is a lot easier when you're doing it with a group of people and you've got the mindset coach working with you. You've got the vibrational healer working with you. It is a complete body, mind, and soul approach to healing, which is why everyone experiences that week 8, 9, and 10 shift, which is why you see the videos. So go to the success stories on the mind and your soul. Um, I haven't uploaded Arden's yet. And... I think there's one other one that I didn't do yet, but that that's coming. But they're in the group. They're in the Minding Your Soul group. I just haven't put them on the website yet. So they're in both places. All right. So, oh, Zalika, I think you said, I don't know. I came in late. I go to bed early. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. The not Okay. So I'm thinking because I asked you before, why are you so tired? Why are you dealing with the fatigue? Do you know? And I think you're answering that question. I don't know. The reason why you're so tired is because your immune system has been fighting a virus for nine years. That's why. Think about when you've gotten the flu, right? You're exhausted. You're freaking exhausted. Your immune system can see the flu. It's, a, it's not a very smart virus at all, the flu. Your immune system can see it. It can kill it. It takes a couple of weeks. It gets out of your body and you're like, whew, that was exhausting. And then it takes a couple of weeks to recover from that. The Epstein-Barr virus, your immune system can't see that smoke screen, your immune system can't see it, which is the reason why we have to starve it so that the smoke screen can't be emitted so that your immune system can see it and kill it. So the reason why you're so tired is because your immune system has been fighting a virus that is a hundred times worse than the flu for nine years, probably longer. You were probably diagnosed nine years ago. You probably had the virus a lot longer than that. Fatigue, there's no such thing as chronic fatigue. You weren't just born with this, um, you know, I'm just tired all the time. That's just who I am. That's what I used to think. My sister-in-law used to say, I just felt like getting up and going for a run. I'm like, is she just trying to be mean or something? Like, who, is she lying? Like, no one feels that way. You do. You honestly, you just feel like getting up and going for a run. You have that much energy. Once your immune system is only fighting the occasional virus or bacteria. The only reason why everyone here is tired when you're first coming in, you're first getting diagnosed is because your immune system is protecting you and has been fighting since the day you came in contact with this virus. So never believe anyone who says, well, you know, it's an autoimmune disease. Your body is automatically wrongly attacking your body. That's not true. It's attacking a virus and the medical community is just now coming out with that. So there is nothing wrong with you. The body shaming, it's time for that to come to an end. Your body is perfect. It's been protecting you from day one, from the day you were born. There's nothing wrong with you. You can heal. You absolutely can heal and you will heal as soon as you start giving your body what it needs to do so. That's all. That's all there is. All right. So did we reach the end of the questions? Oh, Arden says, get that out of your mind. Deal with those fears. Yeah, that's why we use the vibrational and the mindset. You got to deal with the fears. There's so much. There is just so much um, going on here in the background, in the, in the conscious, but in the subconscious mind as well. All right. I feel like I'm rambling. It's 6.09. I can't. I, first time I looked at the clock is an hour and nine minutes later. All right. If you guys have any questions, you want to talk about this further, like just one on one, what's working for you, go to the website and just request a free consultation. 
they're filling up. There's still some times left and I don't normally work on Fridays or Sundays, but I know with the workshop coming up, um, there's a lot of questions that you want to get answered before going into the workshop and that's fine. Just message me. Say, Janine, I looked at your consultation schedule. I can only do X, Y, Z. As long as my husband's home or I can get Julie to watch Jackson, we'll make it work. So reach out to me if you want to do a free consultation. If you've already done a consultation and you want a little bit more, there's a consultation follow-up. It's only $45. I keep the prices low to make this accessible to everybody. If you want to join in the Path to Healing group, we do have a lot of fun. There's a lot of healing inside there. It takes about four months um, to work through the entire process, but it really does accelerate your experience. It gets you through the healing process without all those fears because you have all those people with you, not only all the coaches, but all of those people who are doing it with you, plus the existing members. So once you finish with Path to Healing, in the beginning, my first path to healing, at the end, everyone said, well, we don't want it to end. Can we continue? So I was like, I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. So then for a much smaller fee, you can stay in the group. So that's who's still in the group. All the people who have done the path to healing, I'd say about 90% of them are still in the group and they're waiting for you to come in. Start on Monday. And this way they can walk you through. They could be there for you. We really become very close with these women and they're very open and there's no judgment and it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of cursing so if you don't like cursing don't join the group <laughs> I gotta say that I just have to say that all right um I think that was everything that I wanted to say I hope this helps I hope this answers a lot of questions and if you have any ideas for next week's live at five let me know I always want to provide the content that's going to mean the most to you so think about it if you have that question if you were wondering about this that means that a lot of, a lot of other people are so Zalika, thank you so much for your post this morning. I hope I answered a lot of questions. And please book a free consultation. I would love to meet you and chat more, more with you about this. Thank you for all the questions. Thank you for the participation. Thank you to everyone for all of the support in here. This really is quite an amazing group. Like I said, I've never had to block anybody. I've never had to be like, oh, please don't post that. Everyone in here is just absolutely amazing. So thanks for being a part of Minding Your Soul. I really do enjoy our time together. And I can't wait to see you again.